Okay, back again. 6.35 GDBM. I think that rhymed. That's cool. <laughs> so if we extract GDBM, we'll go into GDBM. And let's say configure prefix prefix equals uh, user enable man lib enable lib gdbm g say screw it up gdbm dash compat user enable gdbm gdbm and compat Okay, so we'll say, what does that compat switch do? This switch enables DBM compatibility library to be built as some packages outside of LFS may require the older D DBM routines it provides. Okay, good deal. We say make, skip over the check. Um, you can say clear, make, and make install. Actually, I don't think there's any more checks to be run. I'm not sure. I don't think there's that many checks to be run, if any. There may be one more. I don't remember. But there may be one more. Even though I've done this, okay, so for the last two weeks, you know, I try not to catalog too much of stuff in here about, say, syntax, um, or count how many packages or anything else like that even though I've been doing this all week long trying to prepare for this video I said I don't really keep track of that kind of stuff um let's see tar xpf inet utils and the reason is too let's say pull it down Got a, we've got a set here, we've got to pull in. Set I dash E. Uh, gets is a pop out with a D. Lib. Lib forward slash STDIO dot in dot H. Gets is a. Okay, and let's run the configure, configure, prefix equals user, new line, lib, exec dir, equals user, sbin, lib exec dir equals user sbin, we're going to say local state local state dir equals for let's say disable rf config disable um, sys log d no sys i have <coughs> Disable IF config, disable logger. Logger. I had a problem here. It's not locale state dir. Local state dir. Okay. Logger. Disable. Sys log. Um, disable who is and disable servers. Okay. Okay. I try not to memorize too much syntax, blah blah blah, because for every every install they all change. Okay. I did a Gen two a couple years ago. 
and I tried to memorize all the things to do, like when to mount things, uh, mount bind dev, this is the next step, this is the next step, this is the next step. Okay, that's great. I can memorize. I don't want to memorize. Um, memorizing data really isn't a definition of intelligence, it's how you use it. And, then, and you can free up a lot of room in your brain by not memorizing a lot of stuff here. Um, so there's a Jeopardy smart and there's a smart. You know what I mean? And how often are you on Jeopardy? So it makes you kind of elastic too when um, you need to do things. Like uh, I would never be able to memorize all this syntax. It's, it's, it's not impossible, but man, your brain would be so loaded down. You know? And then on the next install or the next version when it's released, a few things may change. You know? So why memorize? I memorize. It's good to have the book, but um, you know, you pick up little highlights here, or there. Of course, you know, you mount bind dev. That's how you would do it here. Blah blah. But even in in the field, if you're doing something, you're really you can you're not really mounting the exact same file systems. You know what I mean? Sometimes you you could mount similar ones, but not the exact same ones, and at the same time. So it's kind of like ad hoc like use it uh, for right now you know I mean this is only good for this but you do pick up on stuff like said commands and, and little you know things and blah 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 you know so you can use that in your scripting time or whatever and I have gotten a lot better at my programming but I don't memorize the stuff in LFS books because it's very long and I just pull out highlights. Even too when I say when I say make make install here. Okay. Even too when I um, said stuff like seds, you know what I mean? And I say we're going to replace this with this. Because that's actually what said does. You know what I mean? You're not saying, you know, said bracket bracket. You know what I mean? I, I try to say exactly what the thing does. That way, I better understand it, and stuff like that, because it's kind of hard to communicate in symbols, <coughs> you know what I mean, it's, it doesn't really pay off too well, but if you know why you have to do that, that's one thing, there's knowing what and knowing why, and I choose to know why. So that's done going to say clear make make install say move uh, user bin and let's say we need to move host name ping ping 6 and trace route move all those to bin let's check it we got move user bin host name ping ping six trace route trace is spelled wrong and the bin good okay and inet utils is done um, we have install programs FTP host name ping ping six RPC uh, R login R execute RSH talk telnet hate telnet TFTP and trace route. Okay, good deal, good deal. So let's go back up and we'll remove INET utils now. INET utils. Clear. TarXVF. Uh, we're going to extract pearl.tarpz2. And Perl is 7.5 SPUs, but a lot of it is chunked up by tests that I don't think we need to run. So we can save some on that. Okay. Tar is still a pretty hefty program, but we can save some without running a test suite. So let's say first, echo. Echo. 127.0.0.1. I'm going to echo that and localhost, localhost, dollar sign, encapsulate host name, 
echo that into Etsy posts. Okay, echo 127.0.0.1 localhost dot sign hostname into localhost. Okay, control like control tab. And you got a funky set. Okay, so let's say set I E and we want to say said replace build underscore zlib escape s all dot forward slash zlib dash long line long line not the right line not the right line still all right let's say replace build zlib escape s um, all equals space true place that with build underscore zlib space equals space false okay I think that's right let me check that set ie S. The E, by the way, said is like input, okay? So, well, not said is like input, but you say said input this stuff, okay, into that, into this file, which would be the config.in file. But the E is to like uh, add like an append, okay? So we don't have to keep saying said for every line. The E would just add to it, okay? So we could do more than one said with just issuing said one time. Instead of said, build said next line okay you guys got it uh, we want to replace build zlib escape s all equals true with build zlib space equals space false okay yeah, I think that's good that's good I don't have the tail end, but I am going to tail end. Okay, on this one. Say so said E. I'm going to replace S. Include. Escape S. All. Equals. Space dot. Zlib. Dash. Source. Place that with include space go all over here to under the A. Not necessary really to do all this spacing. One space is sufficient, but I want to try to keep it lined up so I can cross reference myself. Include so I can cross reference against the book. Second line say said uh, escape s all equals space zlib source and replace that with include equals user include okay I'll eyeball it up and say do I have stuff lined over top of each other biggie under uh, big b over e and include is true and can we say Z over E and include. Yes. Sorry, I'm going to take my time on this. I don't want to lose the install here. E over U and user. Okay. Include. Alright, and I can spell today. Okay. Good. Let's tail in again. I'm going to say E. Let's say s libs escape s all dot forward slash z lib dash source with lib and come over here offset this e space 
space user space or for slash lib. Okay, and we'll throw a new line out here. So we say libs escape s equals let's see, that's the right page. Check your syntax. C lib B under the slash. That's wrong. Because that's off. Say so Zlib or dot Zlib source. Okay, B under the pipe. This is wrong. B under the C is wrong. Z over that is wrong. Ah, no libs. No libs. And then this, let me just say over here. <laughs> Offset it. Okay. So, so many errors, I cannot help but to actually go over this again. Let's say, set IE, replace build z lib escape s, okay, equals true, space true, right. Build underscore zlib space equals false, false, okay. E, we're gonna say replace uh, include escape s all, it's true, equals space dot forward slash zlib, zlib dash source, okay. Replace that with include space equals include space equals space user include it's good and we want to say lib escape s all okay equals dot forward slash zlib source lib space equals space user lib okay I feel better I feel better now CPAN compress raw zlib config dot in. Whew, that was enough. SH configure. Say des d prefix equals user new line prefix user, control the actual tab, okay, and we'll say d vendor prefix equals user, let's say demander, demand wonder equals user share man. Draw didn't come out, but that's okay. And one, let's say D man three dir is equal to user share man man three. And we'll say D pager equals four slash user bin less space dash is capital R and we'll say pop that out and we'll say D use shared plib okay <coughs> let's check that out um, top lines okay vendor vendor prefix equals user vendor prefix equals user D man one dir is going to equal user share man man one. D man three dir. It's the same, but flip the ones and trees. D pager is going to equal user bin less space dash ISR. And D uses or D use D use shared shared plib. Control A, Control Tab, pull down, 
Um, the test suite's not going to be, I'm not going to run the test suite. Okay. But, so we can say make and make install. And after that, Perl should be all done with. Okay. So the test suite is uh, 2.5 SPUs. So that will leave us with 5 SPUs. From my calculators working right. I don't know, the sun's not out, so I might not be working right. So, I'm going to do an issue of make, make, install after the configure runs. And I think I'm going to cut the video after that. What are we looking like on time? 20 minutes? Sure enough. 20 minutes. And I'm not going to count packages. Let's not do that anymore. Alright, All right. let's make a pact right now. We're not going to count any more packages coming down. Because it just seems to take longer. So we'll count after like the next tutorial. Okay? Because I like it when we're rolling along. And, or when, <laughs> when I'm rolling along and I go ahead and I count a package. Or do a package count or something like that. And I finally have like two more packages. I'm like, oh man, this is great. Alright, let's get ready. But it's very, uh, very sad when you find out you have about 32 packages. <laughs> no, we just broke 28, right? Okay, so if we just broke 28, I'm going to guess and say, let's say, let's say we got 25. We could go opposite and say we got 28 packages left. Now let's go even higher. Let's say we got 30, 34 packages left, right? So that way, we'll always stay high in the number so that when we actually get to where we need to be, it'll be like, uh, it'll be, oh my god, I thought we had five packages left, but we only have one. So that's, that's what I'm trying to say. Right? Okay. So that's all done. Let's say make, and make, install. Let's run that. Alright, that's going to be some time. I will catch you in the next one.